Hello everyone, this is Abdurrahman Chow uh, here on Gum Entrepreneur and today we are in Birkama to show you Birkama. So we will be having a long walk today so as a result this video will have it in different parts. So right now these cars that are coming, they are coming from the far out end. You know, or those coming from Serekunda, Westfield, Larikunda, those are the ones coming and here they are getting into Birkama. So now we have what we call a daral, meaning a place where they sell, you know, rams. Um, so let's say during the Tobaski, but even when it's not Tobaski, people usually come here, you know, to buy their ram. Um, as you can see, there are some people in there to buy while there are others they are selling. So this is a place you will see when getting into Birkama now. Okay, and if you go ahead now, getting into Birkama. You have lots of people there who are selling hay. In in what of you call it ngoj. Okay, uh, so some of you uh, might not be aware that there is now a new petrol station when getting into Birkama. That is the GNPC petrol station. So I see people buying the hay over there. So when getting into Birkama now you have this GNPC petrol station here okay and along this side you have lots of vendors who are selling different things you know as you can see lots of vendors around so based on this season you know that will determine what kind of food they sell here most of the time most of the time they sell fruits here uh, but you know because now oranges are available so that's why you see most of them selling oranges Yeah, so today we'll be showing you Birikama, you know, a very nice place, you know, the people here, very nice, very friendly, and we also call it Birikama Sati Bar, you know, meaning the big place or the big city. So you see, uh, we still have people around selling, you know, the hay On this side, we also have others selling. As you can see, this one is also having oranges, okay, and some papaya. So around all this side, so in there you have a garage. Um, so on the other end over there, still people selling here over there. So the garage that I just showed you extends all the way here. As you can see, lots of cars parked. No, and this you will find in lots of garages actually when you visit uh, when you visit them and there will be lots of cars you see that have not been repaired but will just be parked there sometimes because the owner cannot pay you know uh, for it or sometimes they cannot get the part that is needed for, for the car to be repaired you know or sometimes the mechanic can just be stuck so here they sell scooters and also repair it The weather is very beautiful today, very nice. So up ahead you see this whole whole row, you have women who are selling, you know, oranges. So like I said, it's because of the season. You know, that's why you have the oranges here. Um, a while back I was here, there was a time when they were selling the kaba. Uh, if you're from the Gambia, you would know what kaba is. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, how it's called in English there's there's a name for it uh, and we also have what what is called Dita you know a very nice um, food to try when you get to the Gambia you know that was a time when that was what they had here so usually what you would find here will depend on what is available uh, you know at that current moment or its season Sometimes you will come, you'll find here granite. Okay. And we are almost at the junction that goes to the Gambia College and the Gambia University. University of the Gambia in Birkama. So another one selling here. So nowadays it's a bit difficult getting a car. So around this end you see lots of people standing by the road. You know, waiting to get a car. No, no, no. No, I am 
So that is the Johnson. That is the Johnson that goes to the Gambia College. of the Gambia as you can see that board so the UTG is also in there Birikama Sateba so this it, it, it's written regional uh, education office over there uh, Yeah, and you can see students coming out of the university over there. Right. So Brikama is actually, you know, very, it's a very busy place. Brikama is actually very busy, you know. So there you have students coming from the college. We also have lots of trees you know around this area so that is why during the rainy season you have lots of rain in Birkama so as I was explaining you see lots of cars parked this you will find in almost every garage you go to here over there they're selling tires So lots of trees, you know, as I was saying. You have lots of trees and before you get you also have the Brikama, the forest. You have the Nyambai forest, you know, so there are lots of trees around this area. So it rains a lot here during the rainy season. So there you have, you know, a metal workshop over there. Spot. <laughs> so we'll be walking all the way to the garage show you around that end they make different you know, kind of furniture, beds and so on. Okay, let me just stop to ask. Well, uh, my name is Sanjali Sosa. Okay. Okay, I'm a carpenter. Okay. Yeah, at the same time, I'm a fire officer. Fire officer, yeah. okay. So, uh, this is my second job. Okay. My contact number is 7303465. 730? 3465. 3465. 3465. Yeah. So that's the number you can contact him on. So here he he makes different kinds of furniture as you can see. He, he made this bed and I believe a lot of other furniture that he have made. So he is along you know the way going to the Birkama garage. So sometimes you can stop by. Alright, thank you very much. Yeah? Okay, Alright. Yeah, another place where they also make furniture. Here they are selling charcoal. Charcoal in Wolof we call it kering. In Mandinka we call it what's it called again in Mandinka? Ah, uh, kembo. Yes, we call it kembo in Mandinka. Okay. So there you have a bit of the chance outside. You know, Birkama big town very busy 
cars moving by all the time. So this video, you know, would be very long. Um, so as a result, I think we'll stop it here and then proceed to part two. All right, thank you all and please watch out for part two.